play. Um, couple disclaimer, her number one Jeffrey is here and as he puts it, is wandering around like a little house mouse. So if you hear strange noises, it could be that. I also live off of a highway, so it could be that. I also have a cat, so it could be that. There's always many things in the background. Um, but I will do my best to keep it to a minimum. Um, give me just a second to get everything set up. Just want to make sure that I can view the chat. Okay. All right, so there's actually not a super complicated planning style this month. And next week we're gonna do the quarterly planning, which is a little bit longer. Um, if you wanna comment on this video or in the, I think it's the community tab, where I've got a posting of all of the videos that we're gonna live stream, or at least the live stream schedule and topics are over on the community tab. So feel free to comment on ideas there or suggestions. But I am gonna do the quarterly planning next week. If you're more interested in it being done ahead of time and then we can chat through it, that's an option. Or I can do it real time and you can listen to my random frustrations with washi or any other things that happen during the setup. Um, let me know what your thoughts and preferences are. I'm good with either. I do feel like it would probably go much faster if we set it up ahead of time. There's nothing that we're gonna do in the life book this month. Um, since it just runs continuously, there's really no need and I really just need to migrate a lot over from the 2022 book I had and we're not doing anything in ideas. That's gonna be done in the quarterly planning. So I'm gonna take the planner out because lately I've just been hating it in the cover. It's just more difficult to work with. I've already pulled on my washi that we're gonna use for the spreads. And I'm turning it this super awkward angle because I'm gonna have to put the washi down and then awkwardly cut it. These are the things that obviously would not be a part of the video if we decide to prep it in advance and then just chat our way through it. Jeffrey is doing his absolute best to be super duper quiet, which is kind of comical to watch that you guys don't get to see. trying my best not to get this super off the line. This washi is from Joann's an eternity ago when they would do like the tubes with Park Lane. So they haven't had this one in a really long time. Um, I just thought it would be really pretty and kind of springy. Um, I've already picked out my theme for May as well. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But um, I kind of wanted to do a floral spring something for either April or May before we jump into like all the summery things. And I am not a summer person. Um, and I'm also not like a hardcore stickler on um, theming to a season when it comes to my planner. Like I'm considering a Harry Potter theme outside of October and things like that. So I don't get too uppity on that one, but um, I do already have a theme. Smart enough to at least put 
a board underneath this and sorry if I'm making you guys sick flipping the planner around all kind of crazy but this is the only way to get this off without me contorting and I'd rather contort the planner than myself. I'm also sincerely hoping I don't cut through this because I almost did. Again, this will all be cut out or I'm not gonna say edited. It'll just be done before I even start filming. If we decide to switch styles or we can just go through this. Oh, I didn't even talk about my wine that's sitting in front of me. We can do that whenever I'm done fiddling with this because I think I'll deserve a sip of it at that point. I'm still making my way through the In Good Taste box. I don't even know how many I have left. My coworker said I failed the whole advent aspect of it, but I'm kind of okay with that. Perfect. And I just chuck this. Sometimes I get a little hoardery and I would keep it, but I'm just gonna chuck it. All right, so where is, and if I butcher any of these terms, I am not a wino and I do not pretend to be one on TV and I do not know a ton, ton about them. That's the whole point of the fun advent box is learning about them and going through that. So this is the Wild Child Pinotage. It's red, it's pretty. It's apparently a love child of Pinot Noir and Kim Salt. Um, it, the best traits from both, it results in a smooth, fruity wine with undertones of bramble, earth, and ex, it's an excellent hybrid. Uh, black cherry, fig, mint, and roasted meat. And Jeff and I are going to make egg roll in a bowl when I get done with this. So that's about as close to roasted meat as I'm going to get. <laughs> you guys don't get to enjoy all the fun facial expressions. And then on top of that, I'm sure there will be lots of fun facial expressions as I go through all the things I'm tracking this month. All right, I wonder, can I zoom in a live? I can zoom in a live. Okay, I zoomed us in just a little bit. And now we're gonna fill out the tracker side. And hopefully everything is in frame. I don't know if that helped at all. I don't think so. Okay, so a couple things that never change are my workout, my 10K steps, power hours, water, I'm always tracking calories to some capacity. The difference always is, is it a deficit, flat? Um, I just find different ways to do a topic on it. Um, this month I'm gonna stick with the calorie deficit. And I have been trying the technique of listing them in order of how they would happen throughout the day. So I'm a little bit better about tracking it because I'll usually do a check-in somewhere around mid-afternoon, like one or two. Um, I guess that's kind of early afternoon, but that's usually when I kind of take a second to fill everything out. So we're going to do wake up at 5 a.m. I do try to be as specific as I can with the goals because I do have that tendency to find a loophole. I have been working out mostly in the mornings, so that's going to stay at the top. In past spreads, it's been a little bit lower. 
10K steps would be the next goal that I would hit. Power hours and 64 ounces of water would be kind of the last things of the day. I have been having a tracker of no sweets and no alcohol. Obviously, sweets are my issue. The no alcohol is really easy for me. I will most likely drink obviously on the wine Wednesdays when we have them, but beyond that, I've been really good. My trackers have always been 75% or above that I can tell or recall. We're gonna track Project Life this month. It's just something I've really fallen off on and due to the fact that Week in the Life and Day in the Life are happening in the month of April, I do want to kind of dip my toe back into that, but also work towards getting current, which is always a battle. I am missing a category somewhere. Oh, I know what it is. So it's going to be out of order. Best laid plans. Okay, so my calorie deficit ended up on the bottom because I forgot to put it higher up. Um, so as I was saying, no sweets, no alcohol. I know I've had those trackers for a while. I am going to endeavor to be better about the no sweets. Now the birthday month is over and Valentine's. April shouldn't have anything going on. And the same with alcohol. I really, other than Wine Wednesday, I can't really think of any applicable reason. Um, obviously leaving room for margaritas in May would be crucial, but... Um, like I said, Project Life, Hobonichi are coming back, and then 10 Minute Organized. It's not something I have been really great at actually following through on, but all of the small or the larger organization projects that I'm trying to take bite sized chunks of on a daily basis, whether that's organizing emails or filing things physically at the office or even at home with some mail that I have or whether it's the closet project or something of that sort, just making sure I devote 10 minutes a day to it, just so I'm chipping away at it if I don't have large blocks of time. Um, as I've discussed both on the community tab and in the videos, workflow has been really, really heavy. So it's making my remote days a little bit harder for me to work on some of those projects I would behind the scenes. And so I have to be very calculated with my time when I'm not at work or even on my remote days, making sure that I try to start things earlier in the day so that I can maybe take a block of time um, during work hours to do a couple of things while I've still got some energy. Um, I am tracking my tarot. I have decided that I'm not gonna buy an additional planner to really track this for the year, but I am looking into the option for 2024 already. And if it's warranted, I would like to have a more spiritual based journey um, planner that's separate, but I don't know which one yet. And I think that just like the budget planner, it starts now the year before of how am I tracking? What am I tracking? What am I trying to, what am I trying to achieve? by participating in it and writing the things down and when is that happening so that I know whether to go with something that's pre-made or create like a bullet journal spread. And like I said, calorie deficit was supposed to go up here, um, but just didn't make it. Um, I have no reason to suspect that these are not gonna be the same things in May, but I do hold off setting up all of my trackers and I keep them month to month because throughout the month, I decide sometimes that a tracker is no longer necessary. I know we've discussed that before. Um, trackers that I did take off were the dinner by seven and bedtime by nine. One, I was figuring out that it was kind of hard for me to track the bedtime by nine because I might get in the bed, but I might be with my planner until 10 o'clock or 
fall asleep or something like that. And then the dinner by seven, I am pretty good with. Um, it's only if I'm commuting out to Jeff's and we have to eat later or one of us is working late and we just go out to eat that that can kind of fall off. Um, it's a goal that we have to eat earlier in the day, but not necessarily something I need to track. I feel like we've got a good enough handle on it. So now we're going to head over to the monthly spread. If you look really close, you can already see where I put in my little teeny tiny YouTube squares like the month before. I definitely like the smaller style. I think it just suits me. Um, the big style is just too big. That's too big. So we're going to put that in there. And I am going to use the Coffee Monster Co. April kit from 2022. And I'm actually going to use labels from the kit instead of just the main stickers, which is going to be really nice. So the thing about these kits is that the 2022 editions actually have the month and the little picture that's attached. The whole sticker is attached versus the newer editions have a split right about here so you can mix and match, um, which I think is a really great change that she made. Um, I did buy both kits, but I did decide to go with the 2022 edition for the whole month or for the whole year because I like the animals. I think they're really cute. Oh, because of the white. That looks really strange because the white bar is at the end. Okay. Then we're gonna use a this month tab. It's gonna be really fun for me to see what I use all these extra stickers for eventually because I use my monthly spread as a content tracker planner versus using it for monthly events of when things are due or I have appointments because those end up going in the weekly spreads. And I actually use the ideas section to do all of my budget planning and tracking. So these stickers don't end up getting used very often. I'm gonna take a minute to migrate over anything that's got an arrow next to it on my March list. And I'm actually not going to add to it. The main reason being that there is so much going on this month, both with me catching up from the time that I was out with my neck and the workflow, and there doesn't appear to be any end in sight um, with the workflow situation. So I think it's super important that I don't add more to the list than is already there at this point. And then hopefully in May, I can add a couple of things. I know normally I pull like the extra cleaning list out and it's a list that came from another planner company and I'm not even really sure what it is, but it breaks down household projects into 52 weeks of the year, which I really like versus you thinking you have to get it done all at once. I almost misspelled it once and then I misspelled it for a real the second time. I feel like ephemerate is a hard word though, so it's not entirely my fault.
And again, this lovely nice pause that we're all taking so that I can migrate a list over, we would all be spared that horror if I am doing it beforehand and then just giving you a chatty breakdown. So on the list every single month is a full apartment clean. Um, then it goes into like other projects like baseboards, magic eraser, purging some closet totes, holiday storage, working through my spices and food storage, cookbooks, ephemera, craft cubes, linens, um, bathroom cabinets and a rack breakdown and hopefully fixing a spoon rest. Now I can use the work tab. The work tab is a mixture of tasks that I wanna complete for both the channel and content creation in my actual nine to five. So I am gonna leave, I always do leave at least one little open box, but most of the time I don't end up using it because if it needs to get done, I just put it on the weekly to-do list versus here. I am gonna take a moment and color in all of these squares so that they can start drying a little bit. This is the cream color mild liner from the kind of neutral set that they came out with last year. I know there's also another set that's very similar to this that's out. This is the one that has the pink and the olive. I did mention this in the upload on Wednesday that I'm gonna have another double video day to make up for the missed content. I thought it would be best to place it further towards the end of the month, especially with day in the life and week in the life approaching to make sure I have plenty of time to actually film that content because it is going to be Project Life or Hobonichi with me style. And that does take a little bit more time versus the plan with me or unboxing type of things. The only other thing on this list that could change is my very last video for the month, which is going to be the TCMC subscription boxing, box unboxing. Um, it'll be March. It's shipped in March, but it's January and February materials. So the way that they've structured their subscription service is that there is an option for January. There's an option for February or you can wait, bundle them, save a little bit of money and have it shipped to you in March. So it gives her like a month off in a sense. And I opted for the cheaper option because none of it is themed month specific exactly. So it's not like you're ordering Halloween product and getting it three months late. Um, if you've also hung out for a while, then you know I did get mine really towards the end of the month and I ended up not using it in October at all. I do really like this cream color just to kind of highlight that nice cream bar. I love the pops of yellow and blue and I've got my mild liners up here. I'm not sure what I wanna use for the live streams to document that. So if you have a color preference, let me know. I'm leaning kind of towards the green cause there's already like some yellow and pink but I could totally go with the pink option too. Leaning towards pink and green, my faves. Okay, so for work tasks, I'm gonna take a second and migrate those over and just amend them ever so slightly. So this is gonna become April content, May content versus March and April. Um, working on the Etsy, quarter two cards will need to be finished, reconciling spreadsheets, working through physical files and one little word projects. I'm also gonna add day in the life on here. I know getting week in the life will be absolutely impossible because week in the life is actually occurring the 24th through the 30th. Um, so that'll end up falling into May. And I am gonna post in the community tab what we think of doing day in the life as a live stream or as a video to complete. So we'll see how that goes.
and I have to be specific with my day in the life because there's actually only one this year. Um, the upload for this lovely Wednesday that did not happen and it's going to go up tomorrow um, is actually my kit that I'm planning to use and my kit and plan for both week in the life and day in the life. I just want to chat through that. Um, I was having some upload issues, so I'm going to reattempt tomorrow with getting that out to you guys. So sorry for the delay there, but I'll just be walking through my day in the life, week in the life kits and the way that I'm approaching the project. And I'm also going to go ahead and put in the description some places that you can find information about the product. And the actual documenting day is the first. And I actually used my labels for once and I am going to pop them in on those days. I do think it's a little funny she chose April the 1st as the documenting day, um, but I am very excited that it's a Saturday because the day in the life that I've done previously were both work days. So that's very interesting. I'm gonna put it over these two days because technically it's the whole week. I just don't necessarily want it butted up next to that striped tab. All right. I'm gonna very carefully go around all of these boxes. And I'm gonna let them dry. The one thing about the Uniball Signo that I do quite enjoy is that it does not smudge like the Pilot G2.38 did, and it's still 0.38, and I do feel like it is a finer point pen. Um, I can visually see it when I compare my journals, and I don't know if maybe that's the difference of, it is a lighter weight pen as well, so maybe I'm not bearing down so much on it, but I do notice that it is a finer point. And just to give myself a little bit of added protection, I think I'm gonna put my pencil board over that. And I'm gonna start listing out what I plan to do. Probably not gonna do that because I feel like I'm gonna smudge it more or there's that opportunity. It's a really long title. And
Okay, so on Wednesdays, the plan with me is for the week before are gonna upload. And then on Sundays, it's going to either be some type of unboxing or some type of paper crafting type of thing or memory keeping. So it's gonna be more Hobonichi based or Project Life based. Okay, so the reason that I haven't put in titles for any of the Project Life with me's is because I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to put there. And I think that's going to be more dependent on how the poll goes and what kind of feedback I get about whether we want to do the day in the life as a pre-filmed video or if we want to do it as a live stream. Because if it's a live stream, it's going to fall into May. And then if it is um, pre-filmed, then it's going to have an opportunity to go one of these days. So I want to leave that open. Plus, it's kind of nice to be able to choose what kind of spread I want to do or what I'm in the mood for. A lot of the reason that I stopped doing them with several personal things going on that had absolutely nothing to do necessarily with workflow, but I just kind of hit a stopping point where I had to stop just for the sake of people involved in the photos. And I just didn't think it was best to post some of those spreads that I was working on and just hit the pause button. So I am playing with the idea of just going kind of back to older spreads from either 2020, 2021, or even farther back in the archives for right now, just as some of those situations progress. So I think that that's just the best course of action. I have decided that I am going to use the green to do the live streams. I just feel like that's a good color choice. I did like how I chose to do it. Oh, I used green last time too. So let's just stick with the theme then. Um, I do just like making it as like a little bubble I can check off. And I know these are already listed over on the channel. I'm gonna pop them in here. Bless you. And I just realized that I put an extra live there. I am gonna leave that open because that might actually be a good opportunity if we just decide to use, um, if we do the day in the life as a live stream. So I'm gonna leave my little green circle and leave these with no topics until I figure out what I wanna actually film for those. All right, now comes the super easy part. This is the last part of how I plan for the month and that is popping in whatever washi tape that I wanna use for these specific weeks. I do not do anything else at all. I migrate my list weekly, so there's no need to set that up. One thing I have been noticing is that I'm forgetting to put my water trackers in and I don't know how that's happening. So I've just been doing it in the plan with me videos. 
I'm really excited for the theme I chose for the month of April. I wanted to use these really cute bean sampler cards from Coffee Monster Coat. So these are the sampler cards that you get when you turn in your bean cards for redemption. And I've been buying, <laughs> I've been hoarding my bean cards and I feel like this is the one that's gonna cause me to cash them all out. They're so, so pretty. Everyone in the groups are begging her to make them into full sheets. I think some of my favorites are like the icons right here more than anything else. Um, but I think that they're beautiful themes. And considering after an entire month of Disney absorption, I really just want to take a break and watch like some historical documentaries and things about art. And if Banks tries to hop up here, I'm really sorry. I will try to bang her off as best I can. I deposited her to Jeffrey. Um, so we have a Van Gogh sampler sheet, and this is just kind of how I'm theming maybe the colors or um, just the vibe of that week, and it might even dictate um, shows I might want to try to watch or maybe some documentaries. So we've got a Van Gogh, we've got a Da Vinci, a Monet, and a Hokusai, if I'm saying that right. I might be saying that all kind of wrong. Banks is going to try to knock over everything. Or she might just sit at the top of the thing. We'll let her sit up there. She's fairly harmless. Okay, so I really don't have a preference on which week goes first, but this is kind of my washi box that I leave up on my table when I'm starting to plan for the month ahead. I did pick some, like two washies for some weeks because I was a little undecided. I think I want to start with the Hokusai, if that's how you say it. And I think that that's a really good match. This is one of the first washies I think I ever purchased. And I'm pretty sure I got it from a Joann's dollar bin, if I'm being 100% honest. Thanks is very curious about your lunchbox, Jeffrey. I don't even think Banks ever showed up on camera. That's funny. Okay. I have been using my washi at the very tip tip top of these spreads lately because I was using it to document dreams and tarot and maybe I should go back to that because I had some really crazy dreams this last week. But um, I have found that the bottom is an easier place to put that because most of the time I'm up by five and it's more beneficial for me to have task space there versus putting it right here in the dead middle of six o'clock because if I'm at home and not commuting between the houses then I can go ahead and get started on stuff. A lot of my task lists are also bracketed out into home, work, craft, and staggered versus hourly but it is nice to just kind of have that small separation between just that weather update. And then again, I'm using that bottom section right here where there's kind of like the little moody faces to track tarot crystals or any other kind of strange pertinent information that doesn't have a spot as of right now. I really do like this washi. Even if it is super old. And if I decide that we're going to, you know, do this ahead of time or we decide that this is going to be done ahead of time, so it's not painful, but um, I'll still go through and explain where the washies came from. And that's just kind of 
going back to the, it allows me to be a little bit more chattier and focused about the chat. So that is gonna be the one for this week. So I think that's a nice little, I think that's good. It kind of pulls off of this and it definitely has that vibe. And I really wanted something that had blue and I'll most likely use like the cream mild liners and browns and I even have a really pretty like burgundy that I might use for like some bullet pointed type of things. So I think that's a good pick. For the next week, I think we'll use this really cute Coffee Monster Co. Washi. This was the collaboration that they did with Wonder Pins. I don't have a fountain pen. I feel like that group is going to sucker me into one at some point or another. And I do have some older ones that um, I think were just like really cheap. I don't know that they were cheap but they were not fancy um I think is the better way to phrase that but they weren't super fancy and I might try my hand at them and then if I like that style then maybe buying into a beginner fountain pen but as of right now I'm just not seeing it in the cards even though I am very tempted with all of the really pretty color inks I think that the biggest thing that scares me with them is a how expensive that they can get and I don't need another expensive stationary related hobby but also the point sizes that I've seen seem quite large I don't know if maybe I'm just looking in the wrong place so please educate me on fountain pens if you know anything about them or are a beginner in learning um yeah, I just don't know that that suits my lifestyle, but I felt like this washi went really well with the theme of Da Vinci because he kept sketchbooks and journaled and he was more than just an artist. So I thought that that would be a really great color palette. So that was the washi choice for that. For the next week, I'm gonna bring that color back in and do Monet. I really struggled with picking a color because I have my James Burke Creative super pretty floral foliage washi and I have used it I think in this planner already. And then this one from Allie Brown that's no longer available. Both of these are no longer available. So that was a really tough call did decide that I was going to use this whole stretch of the watercolor washi since Monet was actually known for his watercolors. It seemed very on brand. So we're going to do that. And I am actively trying to keep out the orange. So I'm going to very carefully rip that off. There's honestly not a lot of sticky left on this. It's only on like this back half, so I'm okay with chucking it, which is really kind of sad. I'm probably, oh, that's a terrible rip. Um, but I'm probably gonna try to cover that little bit of orange maybe with a sticker. I don't know that I love that, but. It'll also be here at the end, so maybe that'll be okay with me. Again, I'm just trying to have those soft, pretty water lily colors in there. And I think I've accomplished that pretty well with that. And then last but not least, we're coming back in kind of with those yellow browns for Van Gogh and his sunflowers and night sky. I like the gingham and I also like the yellow flowers, but I think I think I'm gonna settle, I don't know. I think I'm gonna settle with just the gingham. 
because I've used that yellow flowers before and part of the inspiration behind this was just using up washies in my stash that I don't pull very often either. So I, I haven't used that pretty blue kind of Asian inspired one in a really long time. I also think that going into May, the gingham kind of has that picnic vibe. I have that. And it would be really nice to do like a blue tracker, like a blue water tracker, a darker blue water tracker. I thought, oh, I didn't mean to hit that with my head. Sorry. A darker blue water tracker would be really nice with this. And I choose not to set up the whole spread so that I do have room for creativity as the month goes on. And it is fun for me to pick out the Tombos that I might want to use that week or um, pick the water tracker color. And it's, I've got a good jumping off point, but I'm not necessarily married to anything. So now that we're done with this setup for the month, because I don't do anything further from here, we're just going to flip backwards so that we can see everything that's been set up. So... We'll go backwards. So this week is going to be the Van Gogh week. This week is going to be Monet. This week will be Da Vinci. This week is the Hokusai. And then we're right where we are right now. And I haven't filled out for this particular day yet. Then we are going to flip to, well, I can't get the month right. We're going to flip to April. So I can quickly pop in. Now that I feel like this is dried, little play signs. And I just color them in once that video is actually uploaded so that I know that it was done. When I'm looking at the, this is kind of my content tracker. And then I do a little check mark whenever I finish that live stream. So that is that done. And again, this is the April at a month glance situation. And here is our tracker page for April. I feel like I need to put that in there just in case it's not dry. But I'm gonna pop this back in my cover here shortly. And I hope you guys enjoyed the planner setup. Next week will be a little bit longer because we'll be setting up a quarter. Um, and I want to chat more about the things that I do set up on a quarterly basis. So I don't necessarily know that it'll be longer due to the setup, but longer because of the chat and going kind of in depth with what I'm tracking, why, and just some trials, tribulations, and tips of those things because they're all categories that I've been tracking for over a year and finally put into a spread or tracker of sorts. So we'll talk about that next week. And again, feel free to comment or post in the community tab if I should set that up in advance and then we can chat more. Or if you'd rather just have a really long video where we set it up and chat about it. So I will see you guys next week. Enjoy your Wednesday and I will get that week in the life, day in the life set up video as soon as I can um, dealing with upload issues. And then on Sunday, uh, it'll be a Hobonichi video. So, and we'll be talking about Ostara through my birthday um, because my birthday is in the middle of Ostara celebration. So we'll just be doing Hobonichi catch up in there. So until next week, I hope you guys enjoy and enjoy creating your own Wonderlands. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.